Okay, um, our talk is actually split into two parts, Sean and I's talk. Um, the first half is uh, about porting Beehive to Lumos, and specifically SmartOS. Um, we weren't actually uh, directly involved in this work. Uh, this is the work of uh, several guys. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna give the talk on behalf of them. Uh, Mike Gertz specifically wrote most of these slides. Um, and then Sean is talking about our work with uh, FreeBSD and FreeBSD's Beehive and what we've done there. Um, so the joint uh, <coughs> Beehive on SmartOS team is made up of uh, five people. Uh, Patrick Mooney did most of the, the lift. He's, he, did, uh, he started porting um, Pluribus's so Pluribus did a did a Beehive port uh, to a Lumos. Uh, 2012. Uh, we recently obtained that in September. Um, so Patrick started uh, porting that to a more modern version of uh, Lumos and SmartOS specifically. Uh, so he did that. Uh, kernel bits. Uh, Viona is a networking driver. Um, Hans Rosenfeld worked on PCI pass through specifically for GPUs. Um, Mike Gertz. Uh, integrated it with SmartOS's uh, zones, uh, and then Jerry and, and John Levin uh, did more fixes. So why Beehive? Um, if you know about SmartOS, we, you know that uh, our previous hardware virtualization solution was KVM, a KVM port from Linux. Uh, uh, but there are several issues with that, uh, the main two being networking performance and pass-through were not uh, adequate. Uh, so they chose to port um, Beehive because they knew uh, FreeBSD had good results with uh, networking performance. Um, and in general, it was felt that uh, Beehive fit our, our engineering principles better than KVM did, especially uh, modern KVM, because the KVM port to Illumos was done many years ago and has sort of um, stagnated because KVM and Kimu are so integrated into the Linux kernel. Um, so this is fairly recent work. It started in September when we obtained uh, Pluribus' Beehive Illumos port. And as of February, uh, pass-through support for GPU and Nix specifically um, is supported. Um, uh, Zhive uh, is a wrapper written around uh, Beehive to run Beehive in a zone, uh, which is the way SmartOS uh, configures all of its different uh, VMs or containers, which are called zones. Um, and then it's fully integrated into VM ADM, which is a, a tool for managing all this. Um, so there have been a couple of difficulties. Um, so the current uh, Beehive depends on a bunch of uh, FreeBSD abstractions, and it, it's been tough to uh, translate all those. So there's a, a, I don't know how large the glue layer is, but uh, Patrick Mooney said that he's a little bit worried that this glue layer is going to have to grow over time, and that it, it'll be the um, impedance mis mismatch is what he, what he called it. It'll be something that over time maybe maybe get harder and harder to, to uh, uh, support. Uh, <coughs> Another thing he wanted to point out was the core of Beehive is very polished, but he he sees that uh, as you get further and further out from the core, there's more assumptions that you're on FreeBSD than at the core. Uh, so he'd like to see that change so Beehive can grow to support multiple platforms. Um, a specific feature added for uh, Lumos is an API for registering external drivers, uh, in particular the Viona network driver. Um, uh, this way you can register a callback for notifications so traps aren't outside the kernel aren't required so you can cut down on syscalls maybe improve performance uh, and there are there are a couple of ones um, specifically uh, to scale Beehive Beehive currently uh, only supports 16 vCPUs um, and you can uh, change the define to, to 32 but this uh, scales this there's a statically allocated structure that it'll scale to 32 and it won't be too large, but once you're trying to go for 64 v CPUs and 128, this thing gets very large and it has to be allocated for every VM. Um, it'd be much better if these were di dynamically allocated. Um, and testing, uh, I'll have the GitHub link at the end, but these bits are all open source. 
So if you want to take a look, uh, they're all on GitHub. Uh, there are a couple differences in the SmartOS implementation. Um, SmartOS doesn't have uh, the null modem driver, so uh, to get more flexibility, they added the uh, Unix domain socket support for the serial console. And then also, uh, since SmartOS only uses UEFI uh, CSM boot ROM, uh, they found a, a bug in extended write support, and so that, that's been fixed there. Um, so SmartOS runs things a little bit different. It doesn't run just Beehive by itself. It runs everything uh, inside a zone. So Beehive is running the zone, and collectively they call that Zhive, the wrapper. Um, and so why, why might you run Beehive in a zone? Uh, it's a com convenient way to configure the, the resources. Uh, everything in SmartOS is managed. Uh, it's like a, a JSON file that specifies how a zone is configured. Uh, so they, uh, when they import a Beehive, it's a, that's how that should be organized as well. Uh, it also has some security features. If you can escape BI, maybe you can't escape the zone. That's an add layer of security. Um, and the zone itself is, is sandboxed, so they may not have the resources to escape the zone. Uh, and zones are already an uh, integrated feature into Lumos, so uh, they have all the uh, uh, features that you might want. Um, and then higher level tools already work well with zones, so you can just use those, the, the existing tools like VM ADM and Zone ADM. So these are, these are uh, pros and cons of using, uh, or just pros of using zones. Um, so we default to UEFI CSM for everything instead of using Grub Beehive, um, which, which changes uh, some things, but um, allows some, some flexibility. You don't have to uh, boot Linux guests and previous D guests separately. You just give it an ISO and it should run. Uh, they also uh, allocate their consoles differently because they're not using uh, null modem driver. They're using uh, Unix domain sockets. And then, like I said before, you can use Z-login, which is the zone login command, and VM8 again, console. It's all integrated. Details. Um, there's some upcoming work. Uh, they're still finishing integrating the Beehive work into upstream uh, SmartOS. Uh, it's not yet in the master branch, but you can test it in uh, the Beehive dev branch. Uh, PCI pass through is not yet easily configurable. You have to manually configure it every time you use it. Uh, and then upstream Beehive and the Beehive brand from Illumos Joint to the upstream Illumos gate is still. Uh, Still ongoing, and then resyncing back with FreeBSD is not yet done. Uh, so there's a couple differences, uh, or a couple of added features that uh, Lumos added that maybe FreeBSD might like. Um, so in provisioning, in the provisioning process, uh, VMADM needs to know where, like what state the the Beehive zone is in. So if it's booting, you know if it's booting. Um, if it's setting up the memory, and then if it's booting, it needs to know if it's, if it's on or shut down. Um, so zone ADMs, there's been some uh, changes in, in Beehive, so zone ADM knows these things. Uh, so there's differentiation between like a halt and a crash. Uh, there's some, been some BIOS changes, so we can assign a UUID to the, the VM. Uh, the Unix domain sockets, like I said before, for uh, serial ports of DNC. Um, some testing for M event because that had to be ported as well. A um, couple extended write changes, and then uh, this is ongoing work, so there's going to be more. Uh, if you want updates, uh, you can follow these guys on Twitter. Uh, this is Mike's blog, the guy who wrote these slides. Uh, here's his RSS feed. And then this is the GitHub repo where all this work is being done uh, under the join, uh, or Lumos join. All right. So that's uh, a Lumos Beehive, and then Sean's going to talk about uh, FreeBSD Beehive and Join.
you mentioned that you find a bug in your file implementation of Behind. Mm -hmm. uh, did you um, fix it also in FreeBSD or only in Giant version? Of so currently, nothing's upstream back to FreeBSD. Okay. So actually, today I sent our uh, our bug view, our, our Jira tickets that are fixed to Peter Graham. Okay. So hopefully, he's going to pull in everything that's relevant. Okay. Thanks. No problem. Are there any other questions?